Welcome back. This is a good angle. I am trying to get ready to go out. I am going out to meet Ngozi. Ngozi was the girl who curated uh, the art tour that we did for Mbako's exhibit. And so she's really cool. She talked to me today like, hey, what are you doing tonight, girl? And I was like, I'm going here. And she's like, oh, bet me too. So at this point, it's 9.30. So we're probably going to meet there. I met a lot of girlies who were also in the YouTube space. And I was watching their stuff like, man, I need to talk more. Like, I need to talk more. I hope people really like the content I'm making. So this is really just a critique on myself. I'm looking at what's behind me. <laughs> I have camera stuff here. This is my purse. I'm taking this. I'm just trying to make sure, like, um, my stuff is tidy because I know my mom is going to be like, oh, your house is a little messy. Um, but I wanted to talk more before doing things, give some more context to what I'm doing. So tonight I'm going out. I'm going to this party called Freaking You. It's like R&B. Afrobeats vibe. And so I love me some good R&B. It's... It's my vibe, it's what I do. So, um, going to do that, and then there's this after party, like a anti-Valentine's party, because this is, I'm filming this, and I want to get better on posting in real time, but as of right now, you're getting them a week out. I probably shouldn't say that. I got a life, I got a schedule, I got things to do. So, um, Valentine's Day was on Wednesday. It's Friday. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was a little sad. Like this isn't my first Valentine's alone. Last year would have been well, okay, I have this little curse where it's like I'm either in a relationship before Valentine's Day or after Valentine's Day, but never on Valentine's Day. And so I had this two year long relationship and we broke up like right before Valentine's Day. So I didn't really get to sit in this. I'm gonna keep this out. Um, and then this year is like the real, real one. And I was kind of sad. Like, I was, and I was like, I have no reason to be sad. I'm so grateful to be here. This, I have had this feeling of crying every day. I'm a Pisces moon. So I've been crying every day, like, from gratitude, though. Like, I'm so happy. You know, like, I could be upstairs in the co-working area just like <laughs> it's so nice like i'm so happy i got myself here you know like that and so i was like what am i crying over men for <laughs> so um this is like an anti-valentine's thing going on so i want to go out i like going out i really just like feeling music hearing music moving my body I don't like twerking. I've never liked twerking. So when people ask me to twerk, I'm like, no, like move. So yeah, I'm supposed to stop drinking because I'm doing this. I'm doing the keep the curves, drop the fat plan by Capri Curves. And we're not supposed to do alcohol, but this is my thing. I do pure alcohol and like tonic water. I don't do any sugars. I don't even do wine. She was suggested to do a glass of red wine. Wine has more sugar in it than vodka, I think. <laughs> Who knows, but this is like my drink for the night. And um, why is this not juicing? And I'm obsessed with Topo Chico. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with that. I've actually had it just straight and I was like, I've never had tonic water just straight like that or not tonic water what do you call this mineral water carbonated water why are these limes so big it won't even fit in here 
I don't think it's supposed to be that big. Let's get into the fit. Let's see if I can get the whole fit in here. Yeah. This is one of my favorite dresses. I've never worn it with boots before. I usually do it with like some Lizzie McGuire's. If you know, you know. Um, and it's a little nippy, so I'm doing like a leather jacket. And then I'm just gonna like pop the collar over. I don't know, I keep uh, getting into the 70s vibe. That's just, oh yeah, I don't know. It just suits me, honestly. And I am thinking about taking this hair out and doing my fro. So really it's gonna be 70s vibe. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eventually post my gym content. Cause I am a gym girly, I love the gym. Um, but the gym's here, not a fan. I'm actually thinking about canceling my membership because I have not been back in weeks. I've been using the gym upstairs because it is just, well, you'll see my rants when I post it. Um, but yeah, my legs are on fire. Capri cars, if you ever end up watching my YouTube videos, I hate you. I love you. Thank you so much. This is her second program. I have one and two. But girl, girl, why would you curate the workouts back to back like that? Like, you'll do leg day. And then she's like, get on the stairmaster the next day. Why? Why? That's not fair. But my body does feel good. It feels good. This is a full week. I skipped today because I slept in. Today's Friday, so um, I skipped this morning. I was just not sleeping well. But we'll try again tomorrow cheers oh chico chico's so good okay hola buenas noches Approved to be on camera. You said what? You guys approved to be on camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, I guess so. I have to ask. No, no, I'm fine. I have to ask. I will always so, cut no, out anything that's room. sensitive. Y'all good with that? <laughs> <laughs> and you leave in March, right? Yeah, March second. I just because I know how I am with traveling. I was like, I don't want to stay long term. I feel like there's so much, like, it's so much more fun doing slow travel instead of, like, going somewhere every two weeks. Yeah. Okay, yesterday was leg day.
Yeah, these about to be the best tacos you ever had. Like, I'm not even saying this shit because you reporting. Like, this shit, this shit gonna change your fucking life, yo. What is those? This is what uh, Apple Store is with pineapple, isn't it? Yeah, those is right here. Are you a no, I just don't like pineapple with my stuff. Okay, okay. Um, Quatro a pastor, sin piña. Sin piña. Se voy a ir dentro? Sí. Erika. Do your thing, girl. So sin means without? Sin, yeah. And then con is with. I would have just said no, but I saw you put the scene in. I was like, oh, okay. I'm one of my Spanish. I'm doing it. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's how I feel. That's why I don't do cash. That's why I don't do cash because I don't like having it out. Oh, I didn't pay for mine yet. That, oh. I, don't know. I don't know what the vibes are, so I have pulled it out. But if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So I'm here at this plant festival, which is perfect because been wanting to get some plants for the house specifically something that Ava cannot destroy and um, will kill her so there's a lot of different things I saw some pathos that were nice the pathos are always great because they grow fast they're easy to propagate so I'm thinking about getting that just to start and it I've seen these for a few Weekends, so I don't know when they're going to stop and close down. Hola, oh no, gracias. I'm gonna go across the street because there's some over there too. Uh, ¿Cuánto para patos? ¿Este? Sí. ¿Cactus? No, no, no. Dos. Petos. Sí, aquí. ¿Este? Sí. ¿Cuánto? Cuesta 60. 60, ok. ¿Tú vas a tu chacheta? Sí. Ok, ok. Gracias. No, no, no. Estoy buscando patos. Algo que Ava no va a destruir. Hola. Mm, this one's already big. Bueno, en sí las carnívoras van en una ventana. 
ventana muy soleada protegidas por una cortina. Buscamos calor y luz que no sea directa. Lo que cambia más que nada es el río. Right, there's a whole another stretch down there. So I'll go down and then back up. Somewhere on this side. Baskets. That would come in handy. I don't know how to hang my stuff on the ceiling yet. I need to get a ladder first. I don't want to be impulsive, but I have pathos and Abel is never sick, so I'll get another pathos. But they have figs, and I had a fig back in Atlanta, but it died. And these are already pretty grown out. Look at that. I think my plan is to get a pathos for right now and then get a ladder from Home Depot so I can start putting stuff on the ceiling. Because they have like all of these hanging pots and stuff. I think that'll be really cute in my apartment because I have high ceilings. So I'll get a pathos to start and then go back. I'm going to go to the original lady because I told her I was going to come back to her. So I will. We even have orange trees. We can have lots of Hola. I was too busy dancing um, that I almost forgot to record right now. So I am going to an art show. I'm trying to turn this off. Go off. Okay. I'm going to an art show. Um, common friend I met then is doing an art show and I think it's going to be very performative unclear the last time I went to something that they were doing it was very performative very deep very emotional um, there was this one guy playing the cello never seen someone play the cello like this so I'm hoping they really capture some stuff the camera is not doing well right now oh he's close okay I gotta go but Let's see how today goes. I always do this. I think I have to. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
linear time, but rather chose to run circles around death as their form of worship. We eloped under a past moon and returned here, still pregnant with the idea of each other. At least that's what the birthmarks on our hearts said. Most scientists would Christian this inherited memory, while monks will differ only in terminology and announce this as reincarnation. I confess, I do not know which words should crown this moment. Poets say it's deja vu, groundhog day, love at first sight, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, a song that reminds you of another song. A song that reminds you of another song. A song that reminds you of another song. Either way, we are all cheating death. Dancing down the same fire escapes, gazing at fireflies and sunsets, exploring with all the same moons, the same moons and miracles our mothers and fathers once knew. In Greek tragedy, Sisyphus is cursed by the gods for outwitting death. He is sentenced to lift a boulder to heaven each day, only to have the same weight drag him into hell. On repeat, on repeat, on repeat, on repeat, we will forever be falling in love again. We will forever be falling in love again. We will forever be falling in love again, telling ourselves the same odysseys and Iliads, and when the sky comes crashing on us, we are always and always have been the death and resurrection of each other. 